Hello everyone, and welcome back to Brick Country. Mason here. So today, we're going to be taking a look at some of my personal favorite LEGO cars. Now, over the years, LEGO's put out several cars, from mainly from the LEGO City line, but they've also done pop culture ones like the Bat Car from DC or the Ghostbusters car, several Marvel cars, and Speed Champions, of course, as their biggest, I would say, car line. But today, I want to take a look at all of them that came in the either 18 plus icons or creator expert sets for modular buildings as a promo to the side or ones that actually came in the set like the taxi for daily bugle or the home alone car the plumber's van that came with that set so i'm going to today be looking at the best of those genre of car lego sets let's get started real quick just so you guys know I'm by no means an expert on vehicles, so I'm bound to get a few things wrong. I love Lego cars, though. I think they bring a lot of life, story, and character to Lego cities and their roads, and I love collecting them and putting them in my Lego city, but I don't know much about the actual automobiles, so I'm bound to get a few things wrong, so bear with me. Without further ado, though, let's get started in my top 10 Lego cars. Let's start off with number 10. We have the Avengers Taxi, which was a promo that was exclusive to Black Friday with the release of the Avengers Tower 18 Plus Modular Building. An amazing set, the tallest in my LEGO City. It's a really good set with four figures. You get two of these Outrider Aliens. I really like these figures. Then you get this really cool stand to have Black Panther jumping off the top a very nice figure the taxi itself though is a very nice build we have a printed taxi element on the side on either side actually as well as a printed license plate for front and back and a taxi logo on top this is a very nice very sleek car design i really like how the the red brake lights go around in a more modern car feel and personally, the only reason this one's a 10 is because I don't think taxis necessarily look like this with this uh, roof design. This feels almost like a sports car design. That If this was in different colors and was a sports car, it would definitely be placed higher. As it is a taxi though, it is still a very, very good design, but this places it in number 10 for me personally. On the interior of the taxi, you can see the fourth minifigure we have a generic civilian and in the back we have a suitcase two pieces of pizza or shawarma i can't remember which piece that element is for and an exclusive avengers printed hat element which only other came in the avengers tower set itself for the owner of marvel i'm blanking on his name but his minifigure has the same hat piece so you could only get it so far in Avengers Tower and this promo actually. You can see there's some nice snot techniques utilized right inside to give it a very sleek look. And the roof just pops back on in two parts. And these available two studs is where you can put this translucent jumper to attach the Black Panther stand. So when he's in your Lego city, you can have Black Panther jumping off at the attacking Outriders. Very nice set. At the number nine spot, we have the Palace Cinema Vintage Car. A very nice design. As you can see right off the bat though, I will go ahead and say, I got this set with the Palace Cinema used, so it was missing some pieces. So I had to replace the doors, as well as one of the arch pieces. I didn't have one in full black, so I'd use a black and a dark gray, but I think it gets the job done for now until I can order the piece needed to replace that. And sadly, the figure has some scuffing. As I said, I got it used, so it was much cheaper. But this set came with the Palace Cinema set as the VIP limo-like car to deliver the celebrity mini figure. That's right. It actually says that on it, one of the signs out front of the Palace Cinema, like starring mini figure. So that's what I'm calling that figure. We have her and her driver in this very nice car. I really like this raised hood with snot techniques we got going on right here to give it that more classy effect. There's some nice grill elements to round the front and a bar element for that front railing. 
The back, there's no printed elements, but I really like how they almost copied the front. It gives it a very nice feel. And the only reason I placed this one this low was because of the missing pieces, but that's not its fault. That's my fault or the previous owner's fault for not having all the correct pieces. But this is a very nice car model nonetheless, and that is why it's in my top 10 in the number nine spot. Next up, we have the OK Plumbing and Heating Van, otherwise known as the Wet Bandits Van, from the Home Alone House Lego set. I really like this van. It's got some great sticker elements. You can see residential work is their specialty. You can call the JK51350 for all your plumbing and heating needs. I really like that little reference there. They're your flood control experts. I just love how Lego had fun with this design. And I love how they captured those fun quotes that were on the side of the actual van in Lego form. Got some nice pipe detailings on top as it is a plumbing and heating van. And the roof of this car comes off very easily to reveal the interior. We have two nice seats for uh, Harry and Marv right up front. And the back will actually open for added detail. You can see inside there's a nice box. Inside there's two gold things. I think it's a little trophy and a faucet, two crowbars, and actually the police hat, which you can switch out with Harry to um, reinterpretate or redo the scene in the beginning of Home Alone where he shows up at Kevin's house with the police hat acting like everything's going to be okay. So you can recreate that scene with the set and have him rob it later. The roof just pops right back on, and I really like it in this sand blue color scheme. Got some more sticker elements on the back, nice tire details, nicely framed in, nice, very, very nice front design. They also use, you can see, these pistol elements to create the angle needed to attach these clips for the side mirrors. And I love this set, but it is very simple at the same time. And that's what put it in the number eight spot for me. But I love having this one cruising in my Lego city, even if it's not Christmas time. I have my home alone house in a winter village that I'm currently storing till next Christmas to work on. But I always have this thing running in my Lego city because Harry and Marv just need to be in any good Lego city, you know? In the number seven spot, we have the vintage pink convertible car which came in the Downtown Diner Modular Building. A very, very nice car set with the vintage feel going on. You got some of those vents that are angled in the front, similar to the vintage car in the Palace Cinema set. Very nice parts usage in this set with Technic elements or clip elements, whatever you would like to call them, for the side mirrors of the car and some Technic elements used to shape the lights on the vintage car. Got some big fins going up on the back with some nice brake lights. And this is a convertible car. So you can see it has the portion of the car that would come up on an actual one. The singer has his guitar in the back seat, his emergency brake in the middle. And if I pop out the figure, you can see there's two studs available on either side to house the minifigures. And I have only one figure in mind as it's his car, but you could very easily fit another minifigure in there if you so choose. It's got a very nice windscreen with these L plates that go up, they're modified. And I really like this car set with these really nice wheels, which I love when like you use it, they stand out from the ordinary wheels as you can see used on like the OK plumbing and heating van. I like it when like you use these tires more because they look more realistic to me. A very nice car set. And this one is in the number seven spot for me. At number six, we have the moving van, which was a promo to go alongside the Jazz Club modular building. You can see it says storage and transfer on the side. The roof is removable to reveal all the moving equipment that you can find inside. I'll get all of that out later. But it's also openable in the back to fit more of the very fun uh, moving things to move into the Jazz Club on the inside. We have a very nice license plate on the back and a very small interior for the driver, but very nice at the same time. 
got a very nice parts usage for the front grill of the car using stacked dishes to make the grill effect that's rounded. Some nice snot use piece usage here, shaping it in. And these wheels actually have studs put in the middle of them to make them more realistic. Same kind of details are also on the other side. And some very nice parts usage using clips and modified studs to create the side mirrors of this amazing truck. And it's probably gonna take me a second to fit all of this back in because it was really crammed in there. But you can see there's a bunch of little interior stuff. We got a desk with an open drawer, kind of coin in there. We have a box that says to jazz club with a um, tile that's inverted that just kind of sits in there, doesn't snap in. There's some donuts on the inside. We have one of those handy dandy moving carts to move all your equipment. A picture frame of a saxophone, I would guess, maybe it's upside, there you go, a saxophone. We have a piano and a jukebox. And all of this fits nice and snug inside the truck. There we go, all nicely packed up. This car or truck is very, very nice. And it is in my number six spot out of my top 10 cars. At the number five spot, we have the newest vehicle for the modular building 18 plus creator expert vehicle lineup, the food truck. This was released as a promo or promotional giveaway to go alongside the Natural History Museum. Although most of the promos that go with modular buildings are actually released a month or two later than the modular building itself's release date. This set is very nice with two minifigures, one with a hearing aid right on the outside, very nice print detail there, and just a basic minifig torso and hair piece. And she's also got a coin because she's going to buy some nice snacks. We have an advertisement for those said snacks right here for fries, hot dogs, a drink, and even one of their deals they have going on right now. This can also fold up and be placed inside the van if you so choose. The van is very nice. I, the roof is removable and there is a full interior. The other minifigure is actually the worker of it. You can see he's serving hot dogs. Inside, you got some condiments, different machines, grill back there. I love the parts usage there. As you can see, there's some claw elements used as French fries right there. And you can see the drinks at, that were advertised earlier right back there. There's several things under these desks as well and full access straight up to the front of the vehicle where there is one chair and a way almost to get up in there like an actual food truck would have. There's a very nice awning design right here with the front desk. You can see that fry detail a little better from this angle. And on the back, there's another table that folds up into the back. If you remove the condiments of ketchup and mustard, it'll fold right up. And that looks very nice for when you have it like going down the road but I'm gonna have it in my Lego City parked and serving food. So I have to keep the uh, condiments on the vehicle. And if you just pop the roof back on, which lines up perfectly with everything else, you have a completed van, very nice front detailing with some slope work and stuff. Another technique, same as the uh, moving truck with a clip and modified studs to make the side mirrors. And this car just looks very, very good. You can see the name of the car or food truck here, the hot dogs and snacks with this light blue, red and white color scheme. We have some more of those very nice tires I was telling you guys about earlier. We have some brake light details and the awning is continued around the back in some fashion you can see here. And this is a very, very nice promo. I really like the modular building promos that go with them as they're always these very nice cars. And this one is near perfect. It's just, it's a van rather than a car. That's why it's in the number five spot for me. But now let's move on to, in my opinion, some of the best vehicles we're gonna get today. In the number four spot, we have the Daily Bugle Taxi Car. This, in my opinion, is one of the best taxis Lego done, as in my opinion, it looks the most realistic. Some very nice Technic designs here for the lights. We have a sticker element for the license plate. Nice grill elements. Uh, the, we have the a sticker element for the same element used in the previous taxi. This one's printed though, and this one's stickered. 
This one came in the Daily Bugle, as I said earlier, but instead of as a separate promo, this one actually just came in the set. We have some very nice details, like a gun right here being used as the exhaust pipe from underneath the car. And I, these are supposed, are supposed to be blinkers on the side. Like I said, I don't know, don't know too much about the actual cars. And some very nice um, brake light details and another one of the license plate sticker elements right here. Very nice details on top for the taxi sign. We have a antenna and I don't, I think this is supposed to be a side mirror. I don't know its actual purpose as there's, it's only on one side. Comment below what that is actually, if you know, because like I said, I don't know much about the actual vehicles, but it looks very good. In fact, I copied the design of this whole car into a white and light blue color scheme to make a, a older vintage cop car, actually. Ah, right here. This is my vintage cop car I have cruising down the Lego City and pulling into a, a parking stall right in front of the police station. You can see I kept most of the similar details, had to switch a few pieces up that I did not have, and I added a siren on top as opposed to the taxi sign, and I think it looks very good as a vintage cop car in my Lego City. This is a very nice taxi design though. They use those very nice wheel elements, and this is this was almost in my top three. I just prefer these next few because of either functions or their role in the Lego City. Let's move on to them now. We're moving on to the top three. In the number three spot, we have the tow truck used in the corner garage modular building. The corner garage is retired now, sadly. I believe that was a recent event. And it included this amazing tow truck design. We have some very nice front bar panels or pieces used here with the binocular elements and bars. Some vents and some snot technique used to shape this front of the vintage truck. I think if you wanted to just take off this entire back piece, this could be a very nice vintage pickup truck. Some modified plates and, tie and basic tiles used for the side mirrors. It is a one minifigure interior, but a very nice interior nonetheless. Several curved elements used to get this wider feel right here by the step. And moving on to the back, we have some nice brake lights and tile details and some very interesting wheel pieces used. I haven't seen them really used on any other cars for the modular cars. I believe they're used in some older creator cars though. You can see some very, one of my favorite features about this car actually is the functionality. There's some worm gear in here with some different Technic elements to allow you to raise and lower the actual tow truck capability. There's actually a chain right here, which you can take off and place on another car to tow it. In fact, I can demonstrate here with our diner car. You can attach the chain elements like so to the bottom. And with it attached, you're free to roll right on away. And when you're done with the chain, you can just raise up the hoist part or crane arm element and reattach the chain just to the back of the tow truck by putting it on the two studs in the back. It's kind of hard to finagle in there, but once you do, it looks really nice. And then you can just take that chain off to attach to any car you would like to tow in your Lego city. That functionality really sells it for me and that's why it's in the top three. But other than that, I just love the blue color scheme on it. And it really just looks like a vintage tow truck. It just fits perfectly for me. I love this car. And now let's move on to the number two modular vehicle. Next up in the number two spot, we have one of my personal favorites, the vintage fire truck, which came with the fire brigade modular building included with the set. I recently got the Fire Brigade, as you know from one of my more recent LEGO City videos, and I was so happy to find out that the fire truck came with it. It is a great design for a vintage fire truck. You can see it has the same bar and binocular elements used to make the front of the vehicle, same as the tow truck that I showed previously. And I love this old element used for the front grill elements. 
It's very nicely shaped with several curved elements, windshield and a siren element, I believe that's supposed to represent. And there's the emergency brake in the middle and the fire trucks, firefighters can easily get out of the fire truck. Some nice details right here on the front. And we have one of the lights right up top. In the back, it's fully dedicated to fire equipment actually. We have a very nice ladder using tiles and lightsaber hilts to give a nice effect. And I haven't tried it actually, let's see. Yeah, it is removable, yeah. And you can just prop this up as your ladder, even though it's, I know it's not very tall, but it works perfectly in scale with this fire truck. And we have some hoses on the opposite side. In the back, we have some fire extinguishers and an oxygen tank. And then you can see here, we have some brake lights and underneath, it's very basic techniques used. And here's some more of those older wheels I was saying, er, saying um, earlier that were also used in the vintage tow truck. And I believe here is where you'd actually plug in your hose as a firefighter to the vehicle. And I just love this thing. It looks just, it perfectly captures a vintage fire truck. You can see it actually didn't use the pre-molded steering wheel element. It used a wheel element with a stud adapter two snot elements to the straight front dash area of the fire truck. The firefighter itself is a very nice figure. There are several of these firefighters to be included in the fire brigade set. We have a very basic fireman's torso, but this like chromed silver hat, which I really like, and just the basic minifig face. And he just fits nicely in one of these chairs. And the chair is actually only adapted to two studs, which offsets it to allow you to fit another firefighter if you so choose. And I just love this fire truck. I have it pulling out actually of the fire brigade onto the main street in my Lego city. And I think it just gives a very nice pop of color in that bright red color scheme. Now on to, in my opinion, the number one modular building car in the collection. And that is the vintage taxi, an amazing vintage car. I think it works perfectly both as a taxi and just as a vintage car if you pop off the taxi related elements and you can switch out the color and make several different vintage cars if you so choose. This set was actually a promo to go with the uh, boutique hotel modular building Lego set a few years back. And like with most modular building promos, it came out a few months later to the release of the actual building. There's so many great techniques used in this build. Several curved elements and snot techniques to give the flow of the vintage car. And some nice clip elements to give the um, curved light effect. We got a little bar element here for that front railing. And that old piece reused in dark silver here for the front grille. Some modified plates and snot elements to create the windshield with some blank one by studs with that are smooth. Some nice bar elements on the back and this bright yellow color scheme, some brake lights in the back, and it's just a very, very nice car. The roof is removable to reveal a two-person interior if you take out the briefcase, which actually has something in it included in the instructions. Yeah, a donut. And you can just place the donut in the briefcase. And if you remove the windshield, it's a little easier to access. But in the back right there, there's a slot they slip the suitcase into to hold your luggage, and you can fit two figures in there. The figure included with it, however, is very nice. Sometimes their legs get stuck in these smaller car designs, but it gives a very nice effect when you're on the outside. Got a nice man with a beret and a nice jacket element. And this taxi driver just fits right inside nice and snug, as I was saying earlier, to the taxi. You can see it uses one of the molded steering wheel elements right in there and the windshields are identical but they're adapted to two studs in the front and four studs in the back and the roof just snaps on nicely and this is just a very very clean car and since i've seen it i've been wanting to get a few more because how cool would it be picture this have a mob chase have some gangsters hanging out the windows you can use the popcorn pieces as machine gun elements and ever since i saw this car I thought this would be a perfect mob car. Let me get, let, let me know what you guys think in the uh, comments below. And I just think this car is perfect to duplicate in several different colors to be a vintage car. Now, you're probably wondering why I didn't include the actual 
vintage car Lego set that was an ideas promo. That's because I don't believe it was released with a modular building. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, guys, but I believe it was a separate promo, so I did not include it with this because this was a video specifically for cars that were included either with an 18 plus icons or creator expert building or were a promo released to go alongside one. This vintage chassis though, just is perfect in all matters. It's six studs wide, so it fits perfectly on my roads and I just love it. I think it hit the ball, Lego hit the ball out of the park with the design for this taxi. They use those very nice wheels I keep talking about that I love. And I just can't say enough good things about this design. It's a very, very nice vintage taxi design. Well, there you go. This has been my top 10 Lego minifig scale car video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please remember to like and subscribe for more awesome Lego content. And comment below what your favorite Lego minifig scale or city scale car is. If you want to see more awesome Lego content right now, though, you can check it out on the end screen now. See you guys later. Farewell.